Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. I have a quick update here. I'm working on the convertible top uh, and the power antenna switches. Uh, I rewired them with new momentary switches. I did another video a while ago for the convertible top one, which was actually burned out. And I made a new switch. It's a double throw single pole switch. So on off, on off, um, three wires go into it. The way a lot of these motors work in the car is the motor grounds against the chassis. Um, you got your 12 volt power feed coming in. That's the white one that I used. And then you make the connection to one side, it spins the motor one way, make the connection to the other side, it spins the motor the opposite direction. So it's pretty simple. Um, I didn't want to hack up the harness too much. Here's the original um, power antenna switch. It's not bad, but the switch was kind of rough. Uh, it was coming apart, getting real loose. So I cut this off and I used period correct, you know, 1960s style Packard connectors. I got a kit off of eBay for $50. They're pretty easy to assemble. And I kind of tried to follow the manufacturer's style, right? So I put a male end for the power feed for the uh, convertible top and I did a female end for the switch and for the antenna I did the opposite so you can't mix them up right they're the same they're the same connector they're a three prong connector but I just I switched the uh, the ends so there's no way you could possibly misconnect them so now we got a pretty easy switch that can be taken out I put new hardware on because the screws were all stripped out so you got the accessory plates, regular old switch with the uh, switch nuts, regular old switch nuts that go in, holds it in. Nothing special. These weren't super expensive restoration pieces. They're just run-of-the-mill switches I got on eBay. And then I'm just going to hook them up, hook them up. I've already tested them. They work. They work great. Um, I just tried to make it look a little more professional. I wrapped it with harness tape. Put a little electrical tape on top of the terminals just to keep anything from touching them and shorting but yeah there you have it it's not stock but it's it's good i think it's a it's a good quality setup and uh you know anybody coming in here in the future will be able to figure it out pretty easily yeah so there you go have a good one